Well, it's been a five year quest, maybe four years, feels like five, of getting the right mobile DJ setup for me. And it's more of a hobby than anything, but it has become not an obsession, but something I pursued with um, attention and a drive to find the right portable system that will represent the full frequency spectrum, pack up in the car, work every time I turn it on, and do a crowd of 10 to 100 people. And that's this little get up here. So that's the Yorkville EX1. That's also known as the Elite Excursion 1000. And it's a 650 watt, 15 inch sub, which is very, very nice, which houses all five amps for the sub and these bi-amped speaker cabinets that are eight inch woofers and I uh, don't know the size horns, but probably one or something close to it. Anyway, those are only 125 watt each. Sorry, 175 watt on the top, 650 on the bottom. Packs up super small. Got this double bracket speaker uh, adapter here and the adjustable pole. The one thing I'll say is when the bass is really cranked, this resonates, this piece here. And I don't know if that's a, the brand on stage that is prone to that particular problem. And it doesn't happen with a more expensive name brand, adjustable pole, uh, adjustable speaker pole. But yeah, if when it's not cranked, it's just fine. I don't, there's no rattling, <coughs> excuse me. And so I'm running Serato with the old Windows 7 laptop. And this is January, 2019, well, February, 2019. And I'm still running Windows 7. And I like it, works fine. Because this is pretty old too. This is my preferred mixer of choice. This is a Vestax VCI 400. I think it was the last controller they made before they declared bankruptcy. Japanese company. And I like this one a lot because it's very compact for a four channel mixer, four channel controller compared to the footprint that something that even is a, only a two channel takes up, you know, it's a, it's a much smaller footprint. I don't know if that'll translate on camera, but I do like these other controllers, but my preferred controller is this. And just a couple cheapy lights that I think look great. And that one was um, 15 bucks. I don't know where. And this was 20 bucks for a Chris, it was a, called a Christmas light, but it gives a really nice fire look to me. Just a couple little cheapies and then an old Ikea rolling stand. That's easy enough to throw in my car too. So, you know, this, oops, this whole package right here packs up very easily in my car. No one piece is all that heavy. This is the heaviest piece at 80 pounds. 78 pounds or something like that, which I can manage on my own. It's reliable and the EX1 itself is a very interesting system because it was designed to work together as a portable PA for a DJ or band. And it does that. I've had the EX2 and it was much too big for me. What I like about the EX1 over the EX2 is that it is that much smaller and it it sounds better at lower volumes because these are a little bit flat, but if they're supposed to be flat because you're, these are made to be cranked like a Ferrari. But I find that even when I'm listening to it at lower levels, it doesn't feel like it's only a faint representation of the frequency spectrum. It feels like the full spectrum and it does sound good at lower levels. So it's almost like um, they're good for, this system is good for home use and small, very small mobile DJ use. But it does crank, I can say that. 175 watts per cabinet goes a long way. And uh, yeah, that's it, a laptop um, stand, DJ stand. Well, I might mention that's zip tied to the stand. 
So when I do move it around, I always have that retractable cord. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. That's my mobile DJ system, and it was much smaller and not as full sounding as this one. So I'm very pleased with my four-year progress on this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.